Last month, we told you about a local hospital running a clinic to help Rhode Islanders with lingering COVID-19 symptoms. Now there's a new initiative launched by the Brown School of Public Health to further study the condition known as long COVID. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke to one of the doctors behind the initiative. She joins us now live in studio with a story that's new at six. Alex. Well, Mike and Shannon, the goal of this new local initiative is to bring together not just researchers and doctors, but also policy and strategic communications experts. Together, they'll study the impact long COVID has on people, workplaces, healthcare, and society as a whole. Doctors Ashish Jha and Megan Rani are leading the initiative, which aims to better understand the realities of living with long COVID. Long COVID is really a brand new syndrome that we're only just beginning to define understand and treat. And Dr. Randy says that also means identifying who long COVID affects. So estimates range from five or 10% of people up to 40 or 50% of people. I introduced you to Amanda Martin last month who told me multiple COVID infections dating back to early 2020 are still affecting their health today. I can walk the same mile down the street in my block and I'm still the same amount of tired every time. Dr. Randy says she sees patients like Amanda frequently in the emergency room who often don't know why they're not getting better weeks or months after having the virus. They can't stay awake all day. They're more tired than normal. Their brain isn't working right. We're seeing people with kidney problems and lung problems and heart problems. While Lifespan has a clinic dedicated to learning more about long COVID, Randy says there needs to be more societal support in place too. Because that's what brings people to my ER to get treated. They want to get better. And so that's part of our hope with this initiative is to help set up those systems, not just on a healthcare system by healthcare system basis, but again, on a societal level. Dr. Randy says in the coming weeks, she hopes to announce roundtables with leaders, patients, and other experts from across the state and country to help figure out what can be done about long COVID in the short term. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.